We're on air. Uh, this stream is to replace the stream I did last time on the Xbox because I'm not too sure whether it was Twitch, the Xbox One or the microphone but the audio completely screwed up so we're going to be going over the same thing again so anybody who's watching this keep in mind that this one is a redo of the last one I'm going to try and redo it in a similar way as possible so first off we get to make a new Agents of Yesterday character and I've already got one there but there's going to be a new one just for this stream I don't want to be a Klingon. Uh, TOS Starfleet. I was a human. Tactical officer. No, I had a different hairstyle to that. Uh, it wasn't that one. Similar to that one, though. That was it. Uniform, advance, rank, Lieutenant JGE. Seems to be pioneer. Command. It matches the badges the other NPCs wear, apart from a couple. Continue. You. G. Oops. Eugene Smith, I called him on the other game. Eugene was in honour of Gene Roddenberry. That was the Pioneer. Right, so let's get this going again. No, I want to play the tutorial. Okay, that's uh. Captain's log, stardate 6147.4. We're orbiting planet Taurus 2 in the Murasaki 312 Nebula. Our orders? Investigate the disappearance of a science vessel in this area. Search and rescue operations are about to commence. First off, change camera distance, that's better. Okay, speak to Captain Garrett, here we go. Lieutenant, we've located the wreckage of a crashed ship down there. I need to get boots on the ground, find out what's going on. Take a landing party down to the surface, assess the situation and look for survivors. Thank you, Dokely. Not so fast. We can't use the transporters due to atmospheric interference. You'll need to take a shuttlecraft down. Use the sensors to locate a safe landing site. Okay. Do you think he's like an ancestor to Captain Rachel Garrett of the Enterprise C? Speak to the captain again. Did you find a suitable <coughs> landing area? Yes, I did. Excellent. I've assigned Ensign Mears to your landing party. She's been to Taurus 2 before. Her insight will be quite valuable. Meet up with her and the others in the shuttle bay. Don't forget to grab a phaser in the armory on your way. From what I've read in Jim Kirk's report, Taurus 2 can get a little rough. Aye, aye, sir. Sound a bit too eager. Yeah, I think that's a bit too eager.
Take turbo lift to engineering deck. Speak to security officer. Ensign Tarsi, reporting for duty. The captain's asked me to make sure you get back in one piece, and I intend to do just that. Let's see. M-Class planet? Barely. The Torians are big, primitive, and quick to anger. I'd keep my phaser handy if I were you. Speaking of which, if you want to follow me to the armory, we can make sure your phaser is properly calibrated. Yep, let's go. I need some 23rd century Starfleet uh, diplomacy, i.e. a phaser. Your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the minimap if you are far away from your objective. Shoot it's all this. Lieutenant, that should be enough. Unless you want more practice. Nah, yeah, that'll do. We're gonna wait, there we go. Oh. Yeah, they really do pack them in on this one. Well, that'll wait. Oh, at least you can actually explore this ship. Seems to be an issue on the PS4 at the moment where you can't explore Federation ships. Interiors of Federation ships. Ensign Mears reporting as ordered. I'm ready when you are. Though I can't say I'm happy to see Taurus 2 again. Really? Why? I was one of the so-called Galileo 7, a science team sent to study the Murasaki effect. Our shuttle crashed on Taurus 2. Not all of us made it back to the Enterprise alive. I remember that episode. That's the one where you was all incredibly racist to Spock because he was different to you. Thank you. You can see why I'm reluctant to return to such a place. Yeah, well, man up. I... Yes, of course you're right, Lieutenant. I am a Starfleet officer and I will perform my duties. You can count on me. Then get on that shuttle. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Oh, I've got a comment, but I can't see my comments. Uh, hold on. Speak to Ensign Mears again. Ugh. It's just I'll get round to that comment in a moment. My skin is crawling. I can't help but feel like the creatures are out there, watching us, waiting to attack. Then stay alert. Right. Okay. It appears the ship crashed somewhere north of here. There are two paths from here that lead to the crash site, and there may be survivors on both. I recommend you take Alpha Team along the northwestern path, and I'll take Beta to the northeast. We'll rendezvous at the main crash site. Sure thing. Uh, it's this way. Remember, your uh, mini map shows you where your objectives are. So I just got to wait for my computer to boot up so I can. Far away from your objective. Is that a warp nacelle? Wow. Big. Yes, it is big. Scan debris. That's a deflector dish, isn't it? Definitely Federation tech here. What's left of a shuttlecraft's coolant assembly, according to my tricorder. Oh, duh. Locate source of debris. There's your crash shuttle. What's left yeah, of I noticed. Anyway? Look, someone's over there. I think they're hurt.
still trying to get the switch to load. Interactions can be interrupted by movement or combat. Can I have a Lieutenant, you won't be able to get close enough to revive him while that thing's venting plasma. Those valves should shut down the vents, though. Okay. You mean the valve that's right next door to the venting plasma? Come on, load up the sides. Hold on a second. He's dead. Shouldn't want a different bullet shirt. What do they feed these things? Never mind. Stop late officers. I'm having to use my Twitch. part of a research team studying the Murasaki effect. Doesn't seem to be working. Well, I was before the ship crashed. I was looking for supplies when that thing roared. Got distracted and and then that plasma coil blew. Damn near killed me. Mm. You're telling me we should get those supplies back to camp. Dr. Mueller's probably worried sick about it by now. It just won't load. Okay, I apologise for not answering comments. I can't get onto the site. And I don't think I can change the picture to see the comments about quitting the game and quitting the stream. Well, a survivor. It's a race. I'm going to beat you. Haha. -ha. I win. What do I get? <sighs> Am I glad to see you? We thought we were stranded here with those... those monsters. Yeah, well, you're not. Well, actually, you are. Those supplies you brought will come in handy while we wait. Just put them over there for now. You know, I think there's some old Is phaser there rifles in there. Might come in handy against those creatures. Yeah, well, I'll have a look. Could do with some better weapons. There are some rifles in that crate. We should show the survivors Oops. how to shoot them. I'll set up some targets while you get ready. Okay. A phaser? I've never shot one of these before. Wait, you want me to shoot this? Uh, yes, we're in a life and death situation with huge monsters. Of course I want you to shoot that. This is select. You can also view your ship's equipment. Nah, I don't need to view my ship's equipment yet.
The targets are ready, Lieutenant. Let the survivors start shooting. And yep. You got yeah. Well, you need to shoot something before you can hit it. That was terrible. I get it. That gives me a lot more control. Yeah, actually, aim might help. Wow, thanks. That feels a lot better. Let me show you alternate fire. They're right behind me. I notice how she's the only one to survive again. Heads up! The Torians are attacking! Shoot! Good. We need to get these people to safety, Lieutenant. The Torians will be back, and in greater numbers. Okay. You got the pass, I'll run for cover, and... Yeah. Now dumb can these people be? Go to cover. Pull back. Thank you. Pull back. Well, if you're going to stay there, then I'm not listening to anybody else. Lieutenant, we've held them off so far because they're scared of our weapons. But I don't think that'll last much longer. We've got to fall back to the wreckage. I might have an idea. Yep, I know what that idea is, but... Shut the doors! They're right behind us! Try getting on board first, then. Okay. Last time I was here, Scotty, uh, Commander Scott, electrified the hull of our shuttle. That drove the Torians off when they tried to break in. Think we can pull something like that off here? Maybe. And um, hold on, isn't that the button I used to close the door? Wow. What's the purpose button? Oh, that worked. You did it! Lieutenant, it worked! Bless you, Scotty, wherever you are. I think we owe you a very nice bottle of scotch. Or some... something that's green, maybe? Depends the light the Torians stuff. ambushed us. I managed to escape, but the others... They've been taken. We've got to do something, and fast! Alright, take survivors to the shuttle. I'll go get the hostages. I was thinking we can use our tricorders to track residual heat signatures left by the Torians. Oh, that could work. Let's go. Kill the native inhabitants. Oops. 
No one else noticed how the sphere's actually just curved in mid-air. Like you couldn't actually avoid them. And again, I promised I'll get to those comments as soon as I can. Those things were gonna have us for dinner. Yeah, maybe. Fascinating. The Torians appear to be in a late Stone Age state of development. Now isn't the best time for an anthropology lecture, Skial. Yeah, once again, picking on the Vulcans. Am I seeing things? Because those guys picking through the wreckage sure look like Klingons. Just what are Klingons doing on Taurus 2? Holiday. Hey look, it's 21st century Klingons. Ones look, look nothing like the ones seen in Star Trek Discovery photo. Is that a Klingon pad? Bring it to me. I have some Where? experience decrypting Klingon data. Huh. My little sister's diary was harder to decrypt. Sure, Klingons are good at fighting, but computers aren't their strong suit. And voila! One Klingon pad, unlocked and ready for your inspection. Great, maybe it's got a recipe for gawking though. Like the Klingons are using both guile and brute force here, Lieutenant. A pretty potent combination. The captain's definitely going to want to hear about this. Yeah, I'm sure he will. Back to the shuttle. Oh, more Klingons. Quick, let's use our uh, highly evolved 23rd century morals. Kill them! I can't say we're stunning them because often we're Let's get back to the shuttle before more of them show up. He vaporized both of those. Bah. Uh. Doctor some Mears again. We're ready to go when you are. Hope this thing's got enough fuel to get us back to the ship. 
Are you ready to. to board the shuttle, Lieutenant? Yes, I am. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Thank you, Spock. so happy to see a shuttle bay. I admit I had my doubts in the beginning. Didn't think I'd hold it together down there. Every time I heard those things roar. But here I am. Thanks for believing in me. Well, I needed a me shield. Not really. have breached the hall on the engineering deck and blocked our access. Since I can't send security in, I need you to secure the deck. Yes, sir. Start with the engineering lab. We need to bring our plasma relays back online. After that, secure the armory and main engineering. Go kick ass. I'm remembering an old Earth adage about leaping from frying pans into fires. Your orders, Lieutenant? Uh, like I said, stay here. I'll go be the hero. You clear out no, the lock onto that one. What was it? The do we shut down our primary plasma conduits. Get them running fast. Will do. Plasma conduits reinitialized. Auxiliary power restored. Watch out! More Klingons! Whoa! Where's he going? Act of the year or something? Can't shoot through the door. Great work. Secure engineering next oh, if you can. Oh, they killed him. Yeah. Oops. We've cleared the rest of the deck, Lieutenant. Well done. Oops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Bridge to engineer. Please respond. Uh, come panel. Nice work. Internal sensors showed you have secured the engineering deck. Yes, I have. Check the power relays for the weapon systems. Looks like the Klingons fried them during the fight. Aye, aye. Some missions in Star Trek Online will change based on your career track. Engineering, science, or tactical. Well, I'm tactical. Weapon power relays are up and running. Charge all phaser backs. I need you on the bridge, on the way. Sir, incoming transmission. I say the view screen. Federation Starship, this is Captain Core. It's cool. Surrender if you must, but I'd um, rather you fight with honor. Looking a bit different. Captain Garrick. Good work, Captain Lieutenant. Garrick. The Klingons Garrick. will think twice before they try to board this ship again. Now take the helm. We need to get to a friendly sector. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Call of Duty. Okay. Sensors are picking up Klingon power signatures in two nearby satellites. I'm 
thinking they're broadcasting the distress signals that lured in our ships. Bring us in close so we can scan them and find out. Yeah, it's actually quite a cool design of ship. Science report coming in now. The satellites are using a triaxillating signal. It's strong enough to cut through the interference and reach ships outside the nebula. Clever. Mm. Almost a shame we have to blow them up, isn't it? Not really. Use your torpedo to attack enemies who are not shielded. Ship is under attack. <laughs> I know. Well, if you let me go to full impulse, I'll get there quicker. Thank you. Use your phaser beam to weaken shielded targets. Use your computer on an enemy when their ship is down. You must be out of combat to answer the hail. The red alert message at the top of your screen will Look. Can can you hear us? We're under attack by Klingon raiders. Our shields are buckling. Won't last long. Hold on. Starfleet to the rescue. some energy and get them started again. Well, I could, but what's in it for me? Nah, fine. Thanks for everything. Good luck with the Klingons. What, are you leaving me to face the Klingons by myself? Lieutenant, I've made some modifications to our torpedo launcher. I think you'll like the results. Yeah, there he goes. Your head will decorate space. More Klingon ships detected on long range sensors, sir. Fine. You go full impulse then. This is the USS Enterprise. Acknowledge, please. Yes, yeah, Enterprise. So, the cub comes to fight beside the wolf. 
And now you will die with him as well. And it will be a glorious death. next time thank you for your assistance oh what right. yeah I thought he was going to speak then uh, okay looks like we're done here people Starfleet Command wants us and Enterprise back for a debriefing on this mess Helm set a course for Earth space dock warp factor 3 it's a bit slow but a little weird. Captain Garrett wants to see you in his office, Lieutenant, but he says to feel free to mingle with the other officers first. I'd take okay. him up on that if I were you. I mean, how often do you get the chance to meet the crew of the Enterprise, the best of the best? Well, I wouldn't say they were the best of the best. I mean, how many people died on the Coast Command? Must have the highest death rate of any ship in Starfleet. Okay, I'm going to go quickly get my laptop so I can see what those comments were and hopefully answer back. Won't be a moment. Okay, uh, sorry about that. Here we go. It's been a pleasure working with you. I didn't enjoy going back to Taurus too, but we got the job done thanks to you. Starfleet First Officers must be my good luck charm. Captain Garrett has requested me for a new logistics position here at ESD. Might not be as glamorous as the final frontier, but I've accepted. Until next time, good luck out there. And to you. We were in Starfleet Academy together. Virgilian Flame Rose, activation of the fire suppressant systems. Okay, I'd like to have seen that. Lieutenant O'Hara of the Starship Enterprise. Leave your Klingon set a trap in a Mosaki effect. Don't think they'll do that any time soon. Be careful, Klingons hold grudges. Okay. Oops, 
So it's a defense suit. The great bird of the galaxy, that's your planet. That sounded weird. You know, like it was a. L Uh, hold on one second. Ah, okay, so... Finally got to read the comments. Yes, I am using the console version because my PC barely works. Uh, sometimes I can't even get it to load up at all. You're going into the lion's den, you need why. a medical officer. Yeah, it feels like this isn't the first time I've given you some advice. Well, I've played through the original part of the game, so I know why. But I'll leave that for people who haven't. Not every day one walks away from a brawl with the Klingons. You look familiar, if you don't mind me saying so. Have we met before? Yes and no. Ah, must be my imagination then. You meet a lot of folks serving in Starfleet, to be sure. By the way, I heard you ran into the local wildlife on Taurus too. Right on friendly devils, aren't they? I won't be forgetting those gigantic spears any time soon. Look well, the ones that bend through well, midair and seem to be able to track you. Yeah, so I'll make sure it's green as well. Thanks for coming. I have some good news to share. First off, Fleet promoted me to Admiral. I'll be working with Deep Space Command on several exploration initiatives there. Our ship's going to need a new captain. I've talked it over with Command, and they agree with my recommendation. You. Congratulations, my friend. I know the ship will be in good hands once I'm away. Don't think you've gotten rid of me, though. Plan on keeping you plenty busy out there. Yeah, that's nice. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Every generation, Starfleet officers hear the call of duty. Hidden dangers lurk in space, and the threat of Klingon attack has made even the most stout hearted reconsider their choice to travel throughout the stars. A last ditch effort to find a common ground could end this conflict but there are many who oppose peace. If the Federation is to be saved from chaos, What's new officers will need to take up the task of restoring changing peace. Changing volumes. Live long and prosper, Lieutenant. Uh, it's always nice to hear Nemoya's Spock, even though he doesn't sound anything like he did in the original series. I've outlined important people. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Speak with the tailor to customize your appearance. After that, speak with the ship vendor to claim a shuttlecraft. Okay. I know something else I can claim as well. Your mini map shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the mini map if you are this far is... away from your objective. Okay. So what kind of uniforms I can use? Advanced. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm going to use that one. I'm not going to have a rank because it's got the captain's rank on the top. And I'm going to get rid of that too because it's got the uh, enterprise symbol. Now I just need to get the right colour. That's too dark. Mm. Yeah, I think that's the closest. It's a junior grade badge. Where's Enterprise Command? Enterprise Temporal, Enterprise Command. There we go. No, wrong button. Oops. Okay. Now I'll go get my shuttle. Oops, wrong way. Starship, Foul Selection. Now I can claim that. By Class F Shuttle. Okay. By Constitution Class Cruiser. Zandam. Yeah, keep the name. Selectors over here. Okay, small craft. All right, ship, four weapons, one twenty, one eighteen. Yep. Shields two seven five two five seven point five eight point two eleven point five eleven point eight Yep, equip that one. Nah, nothing new there. Stations, Tarsi in it. Skills, space skills, all capacitor, shield capacity, command skills, endurance training. Okay. Come on, let's go to Tarsi and Gabbard. Gabbard. Never say his name right. As well as your mini map. I know that being a starship captain is a big responsibility, <coughs> but I believe you're up to the task. If you feel that your ship is ready for its next mission, yes, I do. I'll give you new orders. Stay safe. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Lieutenant. Ever hear of Edron IV? Jim Kirk got into a tussle with a Gorn there and barely lived to tell the tale. Both the Gorn and the Federation have teams there now. Yeah, that's I'd the. Like you to uh, back people didn't they use that place for starship generations too? Cowboy diplomacy. Stay safe out there. Oops. Uh, I'll just return the ship from this way. It's quicker. Welcome to the Soul System. Exit system. That's more space dockers, though.
Loading Federation Space, 23rd century. You are More now map. in Sector Space. Sector Space is the main overworld map of Star Trek Online. From here, you can travel to different planets and systems. Sector Space is a no combat zone. Ensign Hunter, welcome aboard. I'm Security Chief Tarsi. Settling in okay? It's going Ensign to Hunter. take a little getting used to. I can imagine. You'll be working with me in security, so if you need anything, just ask. Thanks, Chief. I appreciate it. Hey, don't mention it. Us red shirts stick together, right? But right. you're wearing gold. You can count on me, Chief. USS all shook up. <laughs> Okay, this is this is probably the biggest downside to Star Trek Online. When you've got new ships and they're so slow, sector space travel can take a while. USS Constitution, USS Preston, these are all of the players. I think I just saw one called the USS Antilles. Oh, and I have the Constitution class ship because I brought it ages ago on one of my other characters, but it's account bound. So if you if you haven't bought it, you won't be able to use it. It costs actual real world money. So you have to buy Zen from the C store, which is this thing here. See what I get from it. I've got a Type 2 phaser. Okay. Let me equip that on you. Skills will increase your effectiveness in both space and what have done every that? skill costs one point of the same type to purchase. You will earn one space uh, point every one, one level and one ground point every five levels until you reach level 50. For each skill purchased, you will earn progress in unlock paths. Yay! There, finally. Yeah, if you're playing this game, any of the big, powerful ships, you actually have to pay real money for. Welcome to Edrin 4. I'm Bridget McKennon, CO of the USS Zhang Ha. Glad you could join us. My science teams are on site and conducting initial surveys. Apparently, this place is quite the geological marvel. We're not the only ones present, though. Our friends from the Gorn Hegemony aren't terribly chatty, but so far they're keeping the peace. Then what can we do to help? Well, I'm sure my people wouldn't mind an extra hand down there on the geological marvel. Feel free to join the party. Okay. Keep on course. That should do. Transporter room to bridge. The geological team, supplies, and gear are ready to beam down to Edrin 4. Only the clean. Nothing for it's picking up an impulse ride. 
Yeah, recalibrate those sensors. Time to beam down. During missions, you can select the members of your away team from the away team selection screen. Yeah, well, I've only got these two people anyway, so... There you are. Better late than never, huh? It's in Scavra, Starfleet Corps of Engineers. Scavra. Lovely planet we've got here. Charming, even. If you're fond of heat and rocks. Still, it's not a complete one. Well, I'm not. To say this place is mineral rich would be an understatement. You know, that guy might look familiar to Star Trek fans. My tricorder showing some interesting mineral formations beyond this ridge. Cool, let's this go looks scan like minerals. A good place to start our scans. Nice to see a report was spot on for once. The mineral deposits here are remarkably pure. Scan more minerals. This carbon deposit is unusually pure. Apparently, the Metrons don't prepare half-rate planets. More minerals. Whoever gets the mineral rights to this planet will be pleased. Very pleased indeed. My readings indicate you there might be like dilithium pleased. on this planet. I'll need to take more scans to be sure. Too pleased. The variety of minerals in the topsoil alone is astounding. Either my tricorder is broken, or the soil here has an amazingly high concentration of sulfur. <laughs> uh, my nose told me that long before your tricorder ends in here. <laughs> have closed off the pass. We can't reach the camp. Who would do this? Look, over there. It's the gone. Play the classic fight music. Or not. Hold your nose, ladies and gentlemen. Nope. Oh. Now that carries is random each time you do it. There's male Vulcan on my Xbox playthrough. Defending ourselves in the laven shield. Understood. Over there! There might be a way out of this infernal canyon further down the valley. Yeah, well, we've got to kill Gorn first. Because of the 23rd century Starfleet, we shoot things and fight them instead of talking our problems through. We'll leave that for the 24th century when everybody gets high up on themselves. Cliffside for alternate route back to camp. We need a way out of this canyon, and I'm thinking that big rock up there is it. With a little Federation ingenuity, 
we can topple this rock with a makeshift bar. Once it's down, we can walk across it. So ingenuity for the Federation the in the 21st century is science team as target practice. Have you read Captain Kirk's report on this place? We have all no, the materials the we need here to make bombs. They won't be pretty like me, but they'll get results. If you can collect the materials, Ensign Hunter and I will work out where to place the explosives. We're Let's going do to this. Need at least three bamboo containers, salt, that a potassium of nitrate, and coal. Jeff, going that. Behind us. <laughs> Lots of things. Move on. Oh, miss. Sulfur while holding nose. Oh, what the? Collect a bamboo. Collect some more bamboo. And more bamboo. Oops. Eh, <laughs> miss potassium nitrate. Get the powers of throwing from because whatever they throw just follows you through midair. Right, Ensign Hunter and I will construct the bombs we need to bring down this rock across the canyon. That's the easy part. It's up to you to keep those angry Gorn off us while we work. Hope you're a good shot. You better hurry up then. Well, at least the Gorn Because I'm not that good a shot. Keep them off us! Crush that coal up good, Hunter. Not like that. Finer. Careful with that. Potassium nitrate can react explosively with these materials. Mix it with the coal. Carefully! I'd rather not get all the pieces today if you don't mind. We're just about done. Done! Now let's get these bombs in place. So put them in place then? No, of course, it's a video game. I've got to do it. Bombs are primed to blow. We should move to a safe distance. Done it. Nope. Fire in the hole. Not for the long one, man. Uh, one second. Yeah.
Uh, thank you. Yeah, sorry for that. The only way I can check comments is to, you know, leave the game screen and go to the PlayStation Force quick menu at the moment because don't seem to be able to connect anything to Twitch right now. I don't know why. Looks like some Gorn came through here. We better hurry. Let's go attack more Gorn. Save the scientist. Thank you. Things were looking pretty grim there for a moment. The Gorn. They kept saying the deaths of their people would be avenged, but we didn't do anything. I haven't fired a phaser since the Academy. And you're a Starfleet officer. Yes, I am from England. Why does it show that much? My pleasure. Now, what do I get in return? We're making repairs, but it'll be some time before our engines are back online. Okay, then we'll come and help. We're picking up Gorn warp signatures on our long range sensors. Picking here. up the Gorn. They're coming back. Why don't my laptop connect to the bloody internet? Keep it going. I am firing energy weapons. Oh! Short work on my ship otherwise. I owe you one. That's fine. Slow but steady. Okay, just Our pay work me back drive later. is still disabled, but we're making progress. Let me just check what that last comment was. Okay, uh, thank you. Thanks. Being surprised over. To ask, but something's bothering me. We picked up strange energy readings before the attack. Send your data. So my crew take a look. Okay. Sending it now. I'd start with the debris of the Gorn ship that was destroyed. There might be a clue there. Well, they. Uh, why is it on? Okay. Captain, the crew of the Chang'e were onto something. 
I ran a deep scan analysis of the born debris. And the results are damn peculiar. Oops, what? Gorn ships aren't as tough as a Tellerite design. Our scaly friends know a thing or two about hull plate. Whoever fired this shot knew exactly where to hit them. And who did that? That was... that was damn peculiar. Picking up debris from the Gorn ship and some trace elements of... Weapons great plasma. Sir, I know who did this. It's the Romulans. The Romulans? Surely not. I'll shave my eyebrows if I'm wrong. It's the Romulans, I'm sure. Yeah, you can keep your eyebrows. There's more bad news. The Gorn are coming back. Weapons hot. Orders. Red alert, let's shoot them. It's the same ship as before. Doesn't look like they're back in full strength, though. But it was the Romulans, wasn't it? I see no Romulans, only Federation ships. Do you think me a fool, Captain? Yes, because they have cloaking devices. You're not going to see them. Most convenient, Captain. But I am unconvinced. Produce these Romulans that you claim destroyed our ship, or prepare to pay for your crime. Hold that for. Captain, I've got an idea. If we can generate a charged particle burst, we might overload their cloak. Yeah, that could work. Feel the Romulan. See? Romulan ships. Well, thank you. Too clever, I'm afraid. No one can know of our actions here today. The death are we regret is necessary. Yeah, not gonna happen. Turn my engines on, my dude, that I don't know. One day we will explore together. So there was another player on the field. Nice work out there, Captain. We'll be heading for the closest starbase soon. 
But we'll be back to finish our work here, along with the Gorn, I'll wager. I think the Romulans will take a pass, though. Yeah, they probably will. Because we'll just kick their ass again. Take that helm. Warp 3. Which sounds incredibly slow by Star Trek standards. Whoa! What the hell was that? Most missions can be turned in remotely. Hold the X button to bring up your Captain Commands menu, and then turn in the completed mission. Good to hear from you. I've read Captain McKinnon's report. Sounds like things got a little rough on Edward IV. Still, the diplomatic corps thinks your actions will make a difference in future talks with the Gorn. Well done. Uh, Federation Type 3 phaser, personal shield, energy dampening armor, some dilithium. Stay safe. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Thank Starfleet you. hasn't heard from Deep Space Station K-13 in a while. It's in a tactically sensitive part of the quadrant, and the brass is getting concerned. Get out there, find out what you can, and render assistance if needed. And hey, be careful, okay? This could go sideways fast. Yes, it could. Right, I'll accept that one. And... Head back to the Sol system. While I... Every skill costs one point of the same type to purchase. Uh, you will earn one space right. point every Good one point. level and one ground point every five levels until you reach level 50. For each skill purchased, you will earn progress uh, in unlock paths. Kinetic damage, energy damage, 22 kinetics, and that one. 22, 20, uh, there's virtually no difference. Right. He can have that. She can have that. And he can have that. Okay, so the reason that I did this stream, while people who have ch may have checked will notice that I also have the same stream but for the Xbox One version, was because, as I said at the beginning, the Xbox One version messed up. The sound, everything, it was all completely ruined. So I've redone the same section and I'm going to get it to the same point that was, which was this point. I had stopped that one here. So this is going to be part one of hopefully a long running series where I'll play through the entire game, finishing off Agents of Yesterday going through the main game and doing all of that as well so I would like to say to people who are watching thank you for coming by and watching listening to my silly ramblings uh, I hope you enjoyed it and it's Wednesday so I think I'll make this a weekly thing every Wednesday roughly around the same time 1pm UK time so I'm also going to upload it to YouTube as well if people want to watch the archive so again thank you I don't stream very often I hardly ever done it before so I've got no idea what I'm doing so if you want to leave any comments anything on my YouTube video on my Twitch page in ways that I can improve and do things better then please go ahead all criticisms are welcome because that's how you learn how to grow. So again, thank you for joining me on my stream. And I will see you next time in part two.